This is the seventh in a series of short videos designed to assist the medical student and non-specialist doctor to become confident at examining the eye of a patient presenting with eye symptoms. We've already established how to take a history and test the visual acuity and are now working our way through the structures of the eye in a systematic and anatomical way. This video is about how to assess the anterior chamber. The main reason why you would want to test the anterior chamber is to make sure that it is safe to dilate the pupils so that you can perform successful fundoscopy. The anterior chamber is a water-filled space between the cornea and the iris behind it. The fluid of the front chamber of the eye, called the aqueous humour, drains in the angle between the iris and the cornea. If the iris is sitting too close to the cornea, then the slightest dilation from, for instance, dilating eye drops can stop the fluid flowing out of the eye and induce angle closure glaucoma. Here we see that the anterior chamber is illuminated from the side by this light source. Not only is the temporal iris in view, but also the nasal iris is illuminated. This implies that the entire iris is sitting flat in the coronal plane and is therefore safe to dilate the pupil for fundoscopy. If, however, the nasal iris were in shadow, that would imply that the iris is bowed forward out towards you anteriorly and that it would be unsafe to dilate this pupil. That's all we need to do on this particular part of the examination. And we can just state that the anterior chamber is deep and safe to dilate and move on to the next structure, which is the iris in the next video.